Feliz Dia de los Muertos from Prodigy English. Happy Day of the Dead. We are celebrating today and we are going to be decorating um, it for this awesome holiday. Now, Day of the Dead is sort of a two-day uh, festival, two-day holiday with different people that are focusing on. So, although it is Wednesday, November 2nd for this video, we are still going to be celebrating. So, uh, before we begin, uh, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. It only takes a couple seconds and and you will be aware of when cool videos like this are being released. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. We'll get our wish coins here. And so I've got my 125, which is awesome. I have already played with um, Luna today, so let's go ahead and pet her. And then she can come on over. I finished pretty much all of my objectives, I think, as I was uh, getting ready for this. And so we're going to come on down here. And uh, candy skulls um, are uh, something that is very uh, uh, traditional um, for Day of the Dead. And uh, skulls and skeletons that are kind of like happy and jovial and brightly colored are also um, quite uh, festive as well. So what we're going to do today is we're going to decorate this um, skull that we have that we set up for Halloween and we're gonna go or the backpack is full so I won't be able to clean up quite yet but I'll go ahead and clean up around after once I put some flowers down so we're gonna put some flowers down and for Day of the Dead uh, flowers are very important um, and these are stacks of 99 most of them so we're gonna go ahead and just sort of drop them down I, I can't place them quite super nicely but that's okay I'm just gonna go ahead and drop them and I'll move what I would like um, and they celebrate the, the the symbolism of the flowers for Day of the Dead are the beauty of life and also the shortness of life and so um, because it is a holiday uh, celebrating the sort of uh, joy of life and uh, bringing relatives back um, in order to celebrate um, it these the flowers are very important and the marigolds which you don't have marigolds but marigolds are the same color as um, these tulips which is kind of a golden color um, I'm using the, the tulips to kind of act as marigolds and marigolds are uh, used because it uh, is believed that that helps the spirits of loved ones find the ofrendas, the uh, altars that are set up for your loved ones on Day of the Dead. And let's go ahead and see if we can get one more kind of right up here. So I'm going to pick these guys up again and then we'll come on over here and just try to get these these uh, beautiful, beautiful tulip slash marigolds <laughs> um, right over here. And so let's go ahead and drop this one here as well. All right, that looks lovely. Now let's go ahead and just put some other flowers around the base here as we decorate. All right, let's drop our roses and some daisies and I'll try to alternate a little bit as I spread them out. Let me do another daisy and see what it looks like and then move on over to this side and drop some over here. So it looks like if I do daisy, daisy, rose, daisy, and then rose. Let's see what that looks like. That is lovely. We have a little bit of space over here, so we're going to fill up, and then I might try to put a few around. It's kind of random how they fall, um, but that is okay. It's looking pretty festive over here. I hope you uh, enjoy your Dia de los Muertos, and uh, you learn a little bit about Mexican culture and some of their customs. It's a great day to go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and collect the rest of the flowers I have so I can really, really make this uh, skull as festive as I possibly can. And here's some daisies. Daisies are the most common flowers in the game with tul tulips being second and then roses are the rarest flowers. So I won't have a lot of roses and most of the flowers I have will be daisies, but that's okay. I'll go ahead and collect them all and I'm getting a pretty nice collection here. All right, let's go, Luna. Come on, Luna. There we go. She's doing a great job of following us. She's very well trained. I love having my doggy here. If you're enjoying your doggy as well, let me know in the comments. Oh, I picked up a rose. Cool. All right, I'll go ahead and pat you. Yeah, you like that, don't you? 
Okay, now let's go ahead and drop some of the daisies right here. And then I think I'll run out of room here pretty soon. I'll save the roses to drop another place. That might be the last one I'm able to drop. Yeah, there's no more room here. So all of them are down here. So let's drop a few over this way. And I'll put a couple on the other side as well. All right. Come on over here. Stand over here. And then maybe they'll end up a little bit closer. Ooh. Maybe a little bit closer to the skull if I stand right here. Drop a rose, the daisies, and another daisy. So, all right, now we have room to clean up around our skull. Okay, I'm gonna come on over here, Luna. You come on over here. Now I'll give you a pat. Good girl. You did such a good job of listening there. Good job. Okay, good girl. Let's pick up this stick. Maybe I'll throw it for you later. And then I'll pick up this stick. There we go. And so these are all of the stacks of flowers that I have. And so hopefully next Dia de los Muertos I'll have a few more. And let's see. Come on over here, Luna. There we go. And I'll be able to decorate a little bit more. That's the wrong button for our Dia de los Muertos. Um, now I'm also gonna start to go ahead and decorate for fall. And here we go, let's just walk around our skull. I want to say skull is like caballero. Um, if, if you know how to say skull in um, uh, Spanish, please go ahead and put that in the comments. I always love to learn and I always love to clarify my learning. So um, if that is not right, then please do let me know. All right, so here we have craft items, and what I'm going to be doing in the days to come is kind of getting ready for Thanksgiving and some fall festivals and stuff, which that means I'm going to be making some hay bales. And let's go ahead and just do, I'll just do six. Do some hay bales and then kind of decorate with them a little bit. So I'll probably be putting some of my hay bales. Got this right there. Awesome. So all of my achievements are done for the day. Just kind of putting my hay bales around. Let's see. There you are. All right, so you can go there. And then just kind of decorating a little bit, getting ready for the uh, holiday season and all of the different fall festivals and fall festivities you might be doing. So you can't, can't put you there. I really think there's some, gonna be something cool that comes into this area right over here. I can't wait to see what it is, but this area I'm not able to drop anything in, so can't wait to find out what that is. So in the in the upcoming days, I'll go ahead and uh, decorate, use my uh, weeds to go ahead and decorate this area, make it nice and festive. And that's probably what I'll be working on for just a little bit after uh, we end this video. So let's go ahead and where are you, Luna? Let's click done and see. Oh, there she is. Okay, so Luna doesn't show up when we're uh, moving stuff around. Glad she was right here. Ooh, I got scared there. Um, good girl. So yeah, go ahead and like and uh, subscribe. <laughs> Hope you are having fun um, and very excited about Day of the Dead. So. Uh, Hope you enjoy your day, enjoy celebrating Day of the Dead, and learning about some different cultures. So, uh, or if you celebrate, then if you know if you celebrate, if you have more things you would like to share about Day of the Dead, um, then please do leave those in the comments. It will be great to help all of us learn a little bit more about this awesome holiday. Okay, take care. Have a great day. Keep on prodiging on. I will see you next time. Bye bye.